All right, what's up everyone? Today I am going to show you how to transfer USDC from Ethereum to Arbitrum. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna do is go to this website, transporter.io. And you can see this is going to be a place where you can start bridging your crypto from one chain to another. So we're gonna hit this button and this will take us into the app. And the first thing you'll see is on the top right, we have this connect wallet button. Now I already have a browser wallet installed. I'm using the Rabi wallet, which you can see the sign for up here. And I haven't connected the wallet yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'll hit on connect wallet. And then I can see this option to accept the transporter terms of service, which I'll go ahead and do now. Uh, I'm going to choose Rabi wallet. And now I can hit on connect. And sure enough, I can see my address here. I can see that it's connected. And now I can proceed with my transfer. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose the network. We're gonna go, as I said, from Ethereum to Arbitrum, and we're going to send across USDC. And I'm just gonna send a small amount because I don't have much in this wallet. Um, next up, I can see the amount that I'm sending. I can see the time to destination. Um, and then I can see the fees and destination gas. I can either pay that in ETH or LINK. In this case, for this demo, I'm going to do ETH, but LINK is actually a little bit cheaper. Um, I just don't have a ton of it in this wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and do ETH. I will first approve the USDC transfer. And I can see there's two options here. The first is to do this as a one time only. And then the second is to approve an unlimited amount. Now, if I approve an unlimited amount, that's going to mean that it will have access to my wallet so that the next time I come to this site and I want to transfer again, I don't have to approve the amount that I'm sending um, overall. I'll just have to hit send and then, you know, press the button to get that transaction through as I'm paying for gas. So it's, it's one less step uh, if I do the approve unlimited amount. That's what I'm gonna do now. I can see that um, it is asking for the wallet balance and just making sure that it's gonna approve that. So I'll hit sign in and do that. And then sure enough, it's just kind of registering right now to make sure that it has approved. And next up, sure enough, I can see it is now ready for me to send. So I'm gonna hit on send and it will then bring up the wallet again i can see now it's telling me exactly what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be sending this 77 cents and it's telling this is sure enough sending through i can see that it is now confirming the transaction and it's going to you know wait for that finality on the chain that i'm sending from which in this case is ethereum that will take a while because it is waiting for finality in other words each of the blocks actually have to confirm. And so it is not in this case faster than finality. We wanna make sure that it is really being confirmed. And this is a really secure way to send you know, your funds across. And then next up, it's going to publish that commitment on the cross-chain interoperability protocol, which is the way that it is sending all of this across. It's gonna complete the transfer and then it'll let me know that it is complete. What's really great is that I can very easily view this transaction at any time. Um, I can actually go and see on the Chainlink CCIP Explorer exactly what's happening. And I can see that right now it is waiting for finality. As I said, it's just you know going to take some time to do that to wait on Ethereum. And then we can see exactly where it's sending from. We can see the fees and it's giving us all the information here. If we want, we can actually even go into the chain record, the transaction hash on Etherscan here, and we can see you know, that transaction being sent through directly on chain. And so this is a really nice way just to be able to see all the details if we wanted to capture that. That's really all there is to it. Basically, if we go back to this browser wallet, uh, you know, we can always start a new transfer if we want. That's just gonna take us back to that same screen or we can go to this activity menu up on the top right and it's gonna show all of the transactions I've done in the past. I have done this transaction before, uh, you know, I've been sending a few through just to be able to test it. And so sure enough, if I wanted, I could click back into it and I could see you know, that it is going through. 
once it is done, it is going to just be really simple where it shows that it's gone all the way through. It'll give me that nice little check mark on the bottom left. And again, this was a previous transaction that I ran going from base to Arbitrum. Um, but in this case, again, just really simple. We'll wait for that to go through and then it will show up in our wallet with the new amount. That's really it. Really easy. You can go to transporter.io and do it yourself. All right. Thanks. Thank you.